Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting modifier in 3ds Max, which is a path deform. Now there are two path deform deformers in the modifier list you can find. One is a world space modifier, and another one is object space modifier. We are going to discuss about the both. Now first of all, now what the path deform is? As the name is suggesting that uh, the path deform which means you can definitely gonna uh, deform your objects uh, within a path or maybe through a path so let's see how to do it uh, for giving the example I have created a helix over here and give it a thickness uh, from my rendering option and right now I have also created a path to my line and I want my this helix uh, to be deformed as my created path like a telephone wire so let's see how to do it you select the helix and go to the modifier and if you see hit P you see one is path deform which is an WSM which is world space modifier and another one is over here in path deform which is a object space modifier now first of all I will go start with the uh, world space modifier then I will definitely give you the example or of, of the What is the difference between uh, the world space modifier and the object space modifier in this case? Okay, so I have applied the path deform modifier and in the parameters rollout uh, You can see this is the first option that is a pick path because I have I have to uh, select I mean tell 3ds max which path uh, that this uh, object should be you know started deforming so pick path and we start picking okay now you see that uh, the path has been the object has been deformed in a very weird way uh, that can be fixed in a very easy way uh, by selecting this option down there it's called move to path so that my object will be you know snap back to the uh, position according to my path move to path and you can see it's easily been created uh, along along the path now these options are very interesting and you should use uh, according to your requirement of the scene and the object now the amount of percentage is where you actually you know put your object without stretching it out you can see you can definitely work out uh, some you know, movement of the snakes and everything through this this is a percentage where you really want to and if you put zero that means it's the default uh, position from the zero position of, of the a particular path and the next one is the stretch which is a, a really useful one so either I want my uh, where to be you know stretched out according to the path and after doing this you can get back to your helix parameters and you can increase your twist to you know uh, giving it a very uh, density densely you know coils uh, for your telephone wire and that's it so you can deform it like that and you can use a twist and rotation for for exactly you know your how where to end your coils and everything so that is uh, the parameters and path deform axis you can change in this case uh, if you want to deform according to, to your you know uh, a different way a different axis it's so you can choose your uh, axis but uh, definitely my uh, according to the world axis my I want my deformation chip should be going to go along with the Z axis you can use flip and something again you have to need to move the percentage so it's actually been flipped in a different direction in the opposite direction as I use flipped and I need to reduce my percentage here so in that way you can really create it really create uh, your uh, wire according to your path now the funny part is the most interesting part is select the line right now and you have a full control over the deformation you want to create see 
you just change your uh, you know the vertex point of your selected curve or selected path and there you go you can change the deformation of your uh, object so that is a, a really cool way to create this uh, a telephone wire system that you, you want it uh, very effectively but if you do if, if you want to do it manually it's a very hectic job to do since almost, almost impossible to do. okay so this is my uh, path deform word space modifier now what is the object space modifier of, if i want to you know uh, create just uh, turn down a few turns and again move to the modifier list and go to the p section in in, in, in the part the form okay this is my object space modifier now there is limitations of this object space modifier you have to pick the path but you cannot uh, put it in on the position of the uh, on the path that we have already created the same thing uh, but everything else is absolutely the same the percentage is, is something where you can control the position along the uh, path selected path then the stretch and everything but the important difference is you cannot move this object to the uh, position of the path that's why it's a local I mean sorry object space modifier and that was a world space modifier so you can you can change according to your requirement the whether you want to fix your position fix the position of your object or fix the position of your uh, uh, carve and here you have to uh, create that according from the position of your object that's why it's object space modifier so <clears throat> percentage stretch and everything and even you can if you want to change the uh, shape of your path you can if if you change your you know source path you will definitely change your uh, uh, final output over there so that is the object space modifier uh, path deform and hope you enjoy this and uh, uh, you can use this in a very different way like wear systems or maybe a, a movement of a snake or even just for modeling a snake to give it a you know the, the wavy uh, kind of look as the snakes do so hope you enjoy this thank you very much please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel to stay updated and also follow us on the facebook and twitter thank you very much